Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer Altar. Don't miss it any day. Pray the prayer with us. Receive the prophetic impartation. If you can pray, and after the prayer, pray on your own. If you can pray speaking in tongue, go ahead and do that. If not, pray your understanding. God hears both. Speak to the day and prophesy to your atmosphere. Take spiritual control of the day before stepping out. Anoint yourself as well. Do this spiritual exercise every day. Welcome also to Tuesday, the 25th day in the month. Six days to go. God will bless you heavily before the new month turns around. God Almighty will turn things around for you. Open your hand and be saying, Amen, I receive it, as I prophetically bless you today. God will put his divine sweet perfume on you. Oh yes, people will see you and desire to bless you. Anointing for supernatural attraction is on you now. There is what is called unsolicited favor and waiting miracles. That shall be your testimony from now on. You will own what you did not pay for. In the last few days, so many people blessed me with so many things that I did not solicit for. Somebody gave me a wristwatch. Somebody gave two shirts. Another person a perfume without asking anybody. God registered my name in their heart. Many people are asking for that this account and they are sowing. Oh, anointing flows from the head. I bow my knees for your sake. What is flowing on me and on this commission will flow to you. TPGF members and everyone connected to this anointing, you shall duplicate and replicate the grace of God that this commission carries. I release the spirit of ease. You will get things done without stress or struggle. I want to pray for wisdom for everybody. Touch your forehead gently. I prophesy the wisdom of God to enter you now. To do things correctly. To do things with ease. Wisdom for wealth and long life. Wisdom to be distinguished in all things you do. Say amen. I receive it. Okay? Take off your hand. Someone, you want to be transferred or deployed to a better location. I prophesy to you. You shall receive that letter very soon. You shall be deployed or transferred to your place of choice. Who is this? You need money urgently to address an issue. If that money will not come, something will go wrong. Ah, do this. Take any currency around you, any denomination at all. It's a prophetic action. In the country where you are, raise it up. I prophesy money will not fail you. The urgent money you required, God shall lay you in the heart of someone or some people. They will get it to you on time. You will do it with ease. You will not be put to shame. Tension and stress for lack of money, I hereby remove from you. Say amen. I receive it. It will come. And when it happens, remember to send the testimonies. July 25 celebrant, your birthday prayers. You are blessed. Your new age is blessed. You shall celebrate July 25 yearly in good health, in abundance, till you are 120 years. Say amen, I receive it three times. Welcome to the second day of the 14 days of insightful, practical, teaching, counseling, and divine instruction. First one today. Sir, is it biblical for Christians to be using cola nut, cowrie shell, and bitter cola at the traditional wedding? Second question, what are the duties of a pastor's wife in the church? Wow, I take exemptions to all you just mentioned as related to traditional wedding for the child of God. We must know where to draw the line when it comes to African tradition. Many aspects of our traditions are good, like respect for elders, caring for our aged parents, and so on. But when it comes to allegiances to idols, to gods and goddesses, ancestors, in the family, we must be very careful. Not what should cowry shell, bitter cola, has to do with blessing two people that want to get married. If you research deeply into that traditional practice, you will discover that it is connected to some gods and goddesses in invocation. And when you invoke the spirit of demons in your marriage, you know what we follow. You know the answer. So I say no to that. For the pastor's wife's duties in the church, my take is that when a man is called into ministry, the wife is automatically called along with him. I established this in the Bible. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. 
God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a help meet for him. What's the meaning of that? It means the man needs a companion and a helper to do the work and the calling that God has given him. A pastor's wife is the mother of the church, just like the pastor is the father over the church. If she has preaching and teaching grace, she should fulfill it inside that ministry. If she does not, then she should take care of the women's group, the, even the children. What about counseling and praying? Ah, Many duties for a pastor's wife. Every pastor should encourage and assist the wife to grow and develop, develop her own grace too, to fulfill her calling within the calling. Do not relegate your wife to the background. Neither should you superimpose her over the church. Let her minister along with you. If your wife is idle, while you are supercharged and, and on fire, the ministry will likely have issues later. And I do hands, they say, is the devil's workshop. A pastor's wife is a pastor also. Please, pastor along with your husband. Husband, let your wife pastor along with you. Next, good morning, TPGF. I am married for 34 years with six children, whether in the Catholic Church. My husband went to a customary court, filed a divorce petition against me without my knowledge. When I received the information, I went to court with my lawyer on the adjourned date to file my marriage certificate and photographs as exhibit to confirm. The judge did not even listen to my lawyer. The judge ruled and divorced the marriage. Daddy advised me, wow, this is a foundational problem. Getting married to a wrong person because you did not know any better then. How come 34 years old married with six children? Against six children? Ah, what do you do with six children these days? I am not just talking to this woman. I'm talking to all that are listening to me today, especially the year to be married once. Please learn a lesson from here. Learn or marry in line with 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 to 16. That is God's minimum standard and template for choosing who to marry. And no one should go for six children again. Marry your friend from the beginning. How I wish I know this man to ask him his own side of the story. But whatever may be his side of the story, God hates divorce. What will happen to the children now? I hope you have your own sufficient financial life. As I teach you every day, the best security for the wife and indeed every woman is to have your own income, your own financial life. If it was a proper marriage, bring the two families into it if he will listen again. Take good care of your children and get spiritual warfare at 34 years in marriage, you yourself will not be a young woman again. Move on with God and with your life. All yet to be married should learn from this. Next, how do I key into testimonies? Wow, if the testimony you are listening to is what you also desire, then claim and declare, I connect to this testimony by the grace of God. Then if you can sow a seed, this one is powerful. If you can sow a seed of choice, Say, I connect to this testimony with this seed. God, honor my sacrificial seed. Then send it to the commission's account. These are the two ways to connect to testimonies. Next, Daddy asked us to clean our face with handkerchief or towel this morning. I have my mantle close by. So I used my mantle to wipe my face. But when Daddy finally said, throw it away or flush it down the drain, I was confused because I cannot throw or flush down my mantle. What can I do, sir? Wow. Please go and listen to that ministration again. I did not say use your mantle or towel. I said look for tissue paper, serviette paper, or toilet roll, as some people call it. I was deliberate in choosing my words. How can I ask you to throw away or flush down the drain your mantle? Please go and listen to that ministration again. There is a lesson here for all of us. Please, TPGF. And all listeners, listen to me very well. Each time you are listening to this message, let it be in a serene atmosphere. That's why I always advocate early in the morning. Then listen to it more than once. Tissue, serviette, or toilet roll, totally different from handkerchief or mantle. All listeners, pull your ear and say this prayer. Ah, and say this prayer. Say, God, give me grace to listen well and to act correctly to ministration here. I say, Amen. To all those who said their prayers. Listeners, are you blessed? Please rebroadcast it to all of your contact 
do so daily. Tomorrow is the prayer mountain service at Abuja Center. All TPGF members and listeners in and around Abuja attend that service tomorrow. Time as usual is 12 to 2 p.m. Venue is Living Spring Chapel Kado Life Camp after the fish market Abuja. Don't miss it. Invite others along. Thursday is the prayer mountain service at Ikeja Lagos, Living Spring Chapel, Goshen Land, Allen Avenue Junction. Two services we hold as usual. 7 to 9 a.m. is the first service. 9.30 to 11.30 is the second service. Prayer focus on prayer mountain this week is breaking all yokes. All yokes shall be broken under the fire and the power of God. Delay yokes, barrenness, poverty, sicknesses and diseases, depression, frustration, disappointment. All yokes shall be broken. Anointed mantle shall be given out to people free for praying and doing miracles. Come and collect your own. Bring items and things you will use as a point, point of contact for the prophetic prayers of the day. Invite others. Same two services we hold simultaneously at Dominion City Ibadan, Koloba Abelkuta, Oshobo Akure, Portakot Anuyo, Akwa Ibom States. All listeners and TPGF members in all these cities, please go to the centers there. It shall be live streamed to all over the world. Please connect online. Then listen to this. All TPGF uh, members in Ibadan, Lagos, Abekuta, Ushogo, travel down to the public lecture I've been announcing this Saturday, July 29, from 10 a.m. at Dominion City. Theme of the public lecture is on democracy and governance, moving Nigeria forward. Mr. Leke Alda will be joining me from Lagos. Join and come and listen to what to do to bring up a new Nigeria and to change Nigeria. Connect online from all over the world. Telephone number to book a seat. The lecture is free for all. But let us tag the seat for you before your arrival. Send a chat or an SMS to this number and say tag the seat for me on Saturday, July 29 for the public lecture. 0803-400-7854. Do that now. And then don't compromise your tithe on this commission and all the other seed, including Connection to seat 68 that is ongoing and blessing all people. I prophesy to everyone's life today, the Lord will open new doors for you, back you up with his grace. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.